Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about saving time using smart objects. And to use a really great example, we're going to paint these effects on top of the shield for this goblin. Give it a little bit of a glow. And if you look carefully, the glow is actually made up of little similar repeated objects. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but they're all actually the same thing, repeated and transformed around the scene. I'm going to make what are called smart objects. And I'm actually going to start by just laying down a sort of placeholder. And because I'm going to be transforming these all over the place, I'm going to give this a bit of a directionality, just so I know which way it's pointing. And this is all in one layer, and I'm just going to right click and say convert to smart object. And I'm going to change the layer blending mode to linear dodge. And you can think of this circle here as one of the particles. And I can transform in any way I want, and it's not going to get pixelated. That's one of the nice things about a smart object. And I'm going to duplicate a few of these around. And you'll notice that each of them is a linear dodge layer. When you duplicate a layer, it retains the blending mode. So I've got a few of these, and I'm going to change their size. I can even change their opacity. And this is just laying out some of the sort of arrangement of my effects here. Obviously, it doesn't look like the final product at all yet, but it'll get there. And I can add more of these later, but that's enough to begin with. Now, here's where the really exciting part comes in. Each of these smart objects are instances of a single parent. And so if I change one, they'll all change. So when I right-click on any one of them and click Edit Contents, I get a new document. And this document is the placeholder. So I can replace the contents of this placeholder, and every one in the other document will update with the new artwork. So to show you what that looks like here, this new layered document can be as many layers as I want. So I could draw a little squiggle here. And then as soon as I hit save, the other document will update with the results. So now I get to play. And this is really the beauty of this workflow, is because I don't know what I want this effect to look like. But because the way I've laid out my illustration, I can actually just sort of play with different types and see what it ends up looking like. And whenever I want to see it update, I just hit save. So I can use different layers here. I can give them layer styles if I want. Maybe a little bit of glow here. I can duplicate things around. And then whenever I want to see what it looks like, I just hit save. And then it updates in my new document. And then maybe I want to go back to my master document and change the arrangement now that I'm seeing this begin to take form. So I can move back to the master document, and I can stretch and rotate these in any way I want. It's a lossless process because of the way smart objects work. I don't have to worry about them getting pixelated the way I normally would with objects being transformed like this. Maybe I want to make a few more. And then I just continue editing back in the other document. So this is by no means a finished effect. I would probably go on to do some manual painting on top of this, because it's good to tie it all together once you're done. But as a great first step, smart objects can be a really interesting way to play in real time with what these effects might look like. In, in all honesty, this is somewhat like being an effects artist in a video game studio. 
because they work in this exact same way where they apply 2D images onto particles that are animated in space. And really, I think the big takeaway from this sort of an experience is that digital can be a totally different beast than traditional painting. So always keep your eye out for interesting features that were maybe designed for something else, but that you can bring into your digital painting process and get great results. Thanks for watching, guys.